Couture. What's up, IJ and YouTube? This is Couture, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a do-it-yourself bedroom vocal booth. I actually got this idea from an eBay posting I saw like five years ago. Someone was selling a booth. It was priced at about $200, and I saw what they made it from, PVC, some blankets, and a couple of things, a little accoutrements. And I said to myself, like, man, I don't really want to spend $200 on that. So I'll just make it myself. Why not, you know? So I looked at a couple of resources back in the day to try to put it together. And uh, now I checked some new ones out to see if I can improve on the build that I had before while uh, understanding that I'm working with limited space. Um, I know a lot of you guys are locked down due to the pandemic. I definitely send my prayers out to you. The creativity is just, you know, at the brim. We got to get it out. And, you know, we got to make do with the space we have at home. If you don't have a professionally treated room, then you can at least try to dampen some of the reverb and make your space just a, a little nicer so you can get some really good vocal recordings in. What we're going to do now is demonstrate everything from the materials to the build. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this in a very short amount of time. You can probably put it together in, you know, 30 minutes or less. So uh, let's check it out. So the first thing you want to do is go to Home Depot and get you some PVC pipe. Um, I chose one inch pipe because the one and a quarter inch was out. So I figured this was the next best thing. I didn't want three quarter because that would be too flimsy. So oddly enough, I actually had to cut the PVC pipe myself when I went to Home Depot because there was no one available because the store was very busy at the time. So I definitely want to give a shout out to all of the essential workers keeping uh, certain retail stores open to allow us to get the materials to pursue our hobbies and explore our crafts. I definitely want to give a shout out to all the healthcare workers keeping us alive. You guys are doing a great job and we can help them all by staying inside. So everyone, please stay inside, make that music. I actually cut a little extra PVC because I was thinking about making a more reinforced booth, but I kind of abandoned the idea because I knew that my space was small and it would be smaller, so it wouldn't necessarily have the same problems as something bigger and wider. So this is basically just going to be an end-to-end -end 3D rectangle of a booth with no middle reinforcements on the side. There's a lot of great people doing tutorials on those booths, so please check those out if that's something that you want to make. But for someone who has uh, limited space and this is making a smaller booth this is what you can do without having to get too much material the five pipes by themselves were 25 dollars the eight couplings were about 13 dollars so that's about 38 dollars you're looking at you know you can call it 40 with tax um for getting the pvc over here you have uh three moving blankets um two for the curtain for the walls of the booth and then one for the ceiling um, to prevent that noise from coming in the top. This blanket and the one under it that I already had were about $20 a piece, and this smaller one was $10. So add that up, that's $50, $38. You're looking at about $88 worth of material, which is under 100, which is for a very simple boot. One thing I did forget to mention was the shower hooks. I decided to use that method. Um, I've seen the zip tie method and a few other ones out there, but shower hooks was the one that worked for me back in the day. So that's what I decided to do. And we're gonna use these to build the base of the booth. Two two and a half foot pipes, two three foot pipes, and four couplings. And if I could not live without you, how'd I get this far? So now that you got your base, what you want to do is put your seven foot PVC pipe into each coupling. See, I have about a foot and a half of clearance at the top. So I don't want it to go too tall. I don't want to make the booth too easy to fall over. I just want it to be fairly compact, but big enough to provide a realistic sounding space. The next thing you want to do is make the top of the booth out of the remaining three foot and two and a half foot pipes and the four couplings. You can tell me all I want is you. Can you feel me? I just want to be right up next to you, next to you. I just want to be next to you. This is exactly what you should have. This is your booth. Very simple. Like I said, no reinforcements going along the middle, although I would recommend those if your booth is gonna be a bit bigger than that, or if you're going to use really, really heavy blankets. But for the purposes of what I'm doing, this is just fine. Now these specific moving blankets have measurements of 72 inches by 80 inches, meaning six foot by six foot eight inches. So what you're gonna do if you have the seven foot pipe, you're gonna wanna hang the 80 inch side vertically. So you wanna make sure that that's getting as close to the ground as you can. I could have cut the pipes at six foot eight inches, but I had already been cutting away with the saw and I was pretty much ready to get out of there.
down Cause we more than I think that we're speeding Is she more than I think that she's teasing Boy, you more than I think mommy teasing I keep you on the gram and all that I just wanna see you throw that on me, yeah. So now that everything is set up, let's do a small comparison to see how everything sounds on my phone. Mind you, the window is open and there's a decently busy street outside. So uh, let's see what it sounds like from here and inside. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. And for a semi-proper mic test, here is outside of the booth in a room with a lot of bare wall and just some rug on the floor. And here is inside of the booth. So I will let you guys be the judge. Once again, thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe and comment. Check out all of my content. And I hope you guys keep creating and stay busy. Stay safe.